After deadly food scares from spinach to peanut butter, President Obama is promising to make it safe to go back to the market with top to bottom changes at the Food and Drug Administration. The FDA has been underfunded and understaffed in recent years, leaving the agency with the resources to inspect just 7,000 of our 150,000 food processing plants and warehouses each year. That means roughly 95% of them go uninspected. That's been blamed for an outbreak of E. coli and spinach in 2006 that sickened 205 people and killed five. Last year, a salmonella outbreak traced to red peppers made 407 people ill and killed two. This year, salmonella in peanut butter sickened 683 people and killed nine. I immediately thought of my seven-year-old daughter, Sasha, who has peanut butter sandwiches for lunch probably three times a week. No parent should have to worry that their child is going to get sick from their lunch. He's not the only one who feels a little queasy. I just think the whole food system has been built around an industrial model that doesn't serve any of us real well. The president has nominated public health troubleshooter Dr. Margaret Hamburg to lead the FDA and change that. The research scientist is a veteran of the Clinton administration and a former New York health commissioner. Her job to update food and drug safety laws and lift employee morale. Some felt they'd become a rubber stamp for industry under the previous White House. The agency was shifting its mission away from the public health to more of a, either a business as usual or, or catering to the, the regulated industry. Susan Wood resigned from the FDA over a delay in approving over-the-counter emergency contraception during the Bush administration. That process was turned on its head. Hamburg has been praised as a woman unafraid to take on industry. So is the man will be her deputy. Dr. Joshua Sharfstein has pushed the FDA to warn against over-the-counter cough medicines for young children. Now, if the Senate approves, they'll be running the place. Jeff? Okay, Kimberly Dozier in Washington. Kimberly, thank you.